Hi everyone, Michael Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've been talking about the workspace and identifying the various features thereof, and we're going to talk in this lesson about the menu bar and all of the individual drop-down menus that appear across the top of your menu. All right, so let's get started. What I've done here is I've listed them all and we'll check them off as we go through them. I also have an image open so that I can demonstrate some of the particular features. So let's first of all talk about the very first drop down menu, the file menu. Now remember when you open up a file, that's what the file menu is dealing with. Your entire image layers everything with it, the entire file. So if we hit the drop down on that, you can create a new file. Very simply, comes in, you can give it the width, height, resolution, whatever you want, and adjust the various op options on that. We're going to close that one out. You can also open, which means it will go to your navigation, either on the Mac or the PC, to find whatever you want. Or here's Browse and Bridge. That's how you get to the editing program. Mini Bridge will open up this little Mini Bridge panel down here at the bottom, which as I told you, I'm not a particular fan of in the bridge section. We'll talk about that at a little more depth. Bridge is much better. Open as a smart object. What it will do is take whatever file you are trying to open and create it automatically in its base layer, like we have over here in a layers panel, the base layer, background layer, as a smart object. We're not dealing too much with smart objects in the basic and intermediate. So you're not going to really work with that too much. Open Recent is pretty cool because what it does is list, um, I think it lists 10 and in the preferences, I think we can adjust that. Let's take a quick look here, how far we can go back. Ah, there it was. Recent file list contains, and you can add the number of files to that. In fact, I'm going to actually change that to like 15 on my own preferences. So when you go to File, Open Recent, it will list, and you can see it went back, the last 15 files you worked on. This is really a nice feature. So before you go searching, you can just check here to see if the particular image you uh, want is uh, available. And you can adjust that again. As you saw, that was Photoshop, Preferences, and I think it was File Handling. And it is right down at the bottom of the file handling panel in the preferences, okay? So, obviously with a file you can close it, and of course, remember I talk about one and two key shortcuts, command or control on a PC, and the letter W will close an open window. You can close all of the windows. Forget the shortcut, I hate three key shortcuts. Close and go to bridge. You can close out the entire program and just go to bridge. Save is